my channel so today we are going to cook um farm tilapia so i'm putting a garlic powder what it is is to help to kill the fishy smell okay um there is no sh there is no salt in this um garlic powder then we're gonna add some onion powder your goal is to kill the smell of fish I mean, you still have a little bit smell, but trying to kill the fishy smell, okay? So we use all powder, and then we're gonna add some salt, okay? Then black pepper, both sides. So this is my husband and I's dinner, okay? And then I'm gonna turn around. But first thing first, I need to have some salt on my burner. So let me remove that salt. Okay. So while it's seasoning, I'm going to start the heat. And I'm going to put some butter. We're going to cook this tilapia butter. Okay. There. Then I am cooking some green uh, mixed vegetables. I need to put some butter in it. Here, some salt and black paper. So I'm doing it both dish at the same time. So I'm gonna mix my mixed vegetables like that. Okay, so I'm gonna finish to season our tilapia. Okay. This is my secret, guys, when I'm cooking tilapia to make sure that it's really well seasoned. Gar uh, garlic powder and onion powder. What it is is to help to eliminate the fishy smell when you're cooking. Okay. Okay, that's done. And we're already warming the batter, so we have to wait a little bit to melt. Okay. So I'm going to just the heat for my mixed vegetables. So we're having fish and mixed vegetables and salad for dinner. Okay, so I'm going to allow that to cook slow. Away. So I'm starting putting things away while waiting for our butter to melt. Okay. Just a heat to medium heat. Now I'm gonna start putting my fish. Okay, butter. Let me see it will fit for fish. Okay. I apologize guys I don't like messy um, stove when I'm cooking so next I am going to cover well, I'm going to cover okay I'm gonna cover this it smell really good actually the uh, the um, garlic fish okay so this is how i cook guys so, you know the seasoning and the um very simple black pepper salt garlic powder onion powder again it would help 
to kind of eliminate the fishy smell. Okay, just right here. So stop cooking just to make sure that really the fish and the butter. Oh, another thing also, guys, I'm using a salt um a salt butter. And what it is because it's just a little bit thicker of the fish. It's really important to have a lot of seasoning in it, um, but not salty. So when you are cooking your tilapia, farm tilapia, it um, it's a really thick. So it's important that you have to put a lot of seasoning in it when you're cooking. Okay. So I'm gonna flip it. It's really important that we'll um, balance the butter and all the good seasoning for our fish. Okay, so here we go. So the time of this cooking, it is really is your own judgment, okay? Because sometimes when you when I buy tilapia, the regular tilapia, not farm tilapia, it's really thin. So I cook like maybe six minutes. But this one, because it's really thick, we're going to cook this for at least uh, 10 minutes. So it's really, really important that your own judgment. Don't overcook your fish though because you don't want to be dry. Okay, so, so we're going to cook that 10 minutes. As you can see, it's still cooking and kind of, as you can see the brown. So I want to get a little bit brown both sides, okay? So it's really important that. So now it's not really brown yet, so I'm gonna turn around, turn back, okay? And here. And I'm gonna cover again. Again, I would like to have kind of a, a little bit golden brown. So we're gonna cook one more five minutes. So my mixed vegetables is done. I don't like to overcook my vegetables, so this is that is done. Okay, and our fish continue cooking. This smells so good. The garlic powder and the onion powder to bring the very taste taste meal. It's not fishy smell. It's just good. Okay. So this is done guys, as you can see, 10 minutes. Okay, don't overcook your fish. Another thing also, before you season your fish, make sure you dry it in paper towel, both sides, then you add your seasoning, because that will be, um, the seasoning will stick to the fish. So thank you, thank you so much guys. I hope you enjoyed this short video of how to cook my fish. I love you guys, take care out there, bye-bye.